Hi everyone, welcome to Sweet Peace Sids Inspirations. My name is Sydney and today is going to be a quick little update of what I have been working on these last two weeks. I'm sharing my work in progresses and finished objects, which I don't have a lot of finished objects this go around. Um, but before I get into everything, I do want to ask you guys a favor, um, if you will please. Um, some of us know Melanie over at Lathea's Little Hook. Um, she has been trying to reach her 500 subscriber mark. Um, and I am asking you guys if you wouldn't mind sharing her out and try to get her to 500 subscribers. Um, she is a wonderful friend of mine. I really adore her and really enjoy connecting with her and watching her channel grow and, um, <laughs> watching her ramble on her work in progresses or really any videos. That's just her. She rambles, but I love it. I love hearing some of the stories that she, um, has to tell or just, want to talk about so please if you guys wouldn't mind sharing Melanie out and go check her out if you haven't already. Um, now the other favor that I would like to ask you guys I try not to ask um, for help a lot of the times I'm a person that I would rather help somebody than somebody help me but I would like to ask this favor if you guys wouldn't mind um, sharing me out as well i am trying to reach 500 as well so me and melanie right now we are sub sisters and um if you guys just wouldn't mind um please showing both of us out and help us reach our goals i try to support anybody that i can when i can um, i'm a fairly busy person between taking care of a two-year-old um, gardening season is right around the corner. I've already kind of started my gardening. Um, we live in South Carolina. And also the YouTube coming up with tutorials, patterns. So I do tutorials and written patterns if you were new here. Um, and just trying to keep up with the YouTube and all that. So um, I am a fairly busy person. So I do try to support when I can um, and where I can. So that's just some things that I really wish to ask you guys. Um, no pressure, just if you can and if you wouldn't mind, it is greatly appreciated and very much thank you for doing so. So I guess we can go ahead and talk about what I have been working on. Um, like I stated, I haven't gotten really, well, now that I'm looking at my work in progresses and finished objects, I guess I got a lot more accomplished than I thought I did. Um, so I will go ahead and get spinning out of the way. Um, so what I had got finished spinning up was some Zwartzbliss uh, wool that I received from Paradise Fibers. It is a um, chocolate color. It does have a little bit of a gray tint to it. I don't know if you can really see it, um, but I did get some of this spun up. I spun... 178 yards and this is considered as a DK weight. Um, so that is one of the finished projects that I do have done this go round. Um, I also got some more of these Story Story Night spun up which I know if you guys have been following me for a while you're probably getting tired of seeing it just as much as I am but I'm almost done with the whole uh, roving which was 10 ounces I believe of the Starry Starry Night from Paradise Fibers. This one was a 75% uh, merino wool blend with a 25% bamboo blend. Um, so I am coming to the close of the roving that I have received from them. I just have a little bit more to spin up and um, so that's really all the spinning that I have gotten done. Um, now we will move into finished objects real quick as well. So this Sunday I have a tutorial coming out for the Groovy uh, Knitted Beanie, which is for my Yarn Roulette project. Um, if you don't know what Yarn Roulette is, you can go check out the um, other videos that I have up for the Yarn Roulette. But this is one of the hats that came out of that, and the tutorial will come out this Sunday, March 5th at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. So that is one of my finished projects. Now that we are still on the hat um, topic, I have also finished a, another hat that I started, I 
think it was back in January, I was talking about doing a slouch, a matching slouchy for the cloister duster vest, which is behind me on my mannequin. Um, but when I was working this up and doing the pattern and all, I was having a hard time trying to figure out how to actually decrease and make it look, um, look right. Um, and then Kay over at Kay's Crochet Haven, she was talking about a X closure, um, mainly for knitting and knitting off of a, um, or taking a hat off of a, um, Addy machine. Um, she was talking about the X closure, um, to close off of hat and I was like hmm I'm going to try to see if that will work um you don't have to decrease with that x closure so I tried that and it actually worked out so um I still have to do the tutorial for this I don't know when it's coming out I think I do have it pinned in for I think I see March 19th on my little journal that I've got going on um so hopefully I can have this out by March 5th or 19th um so stay tuned for that um so that's really all of the finished objects that I have right now I have been working on a <laughs> not like big project but a time consuming project um so I have been working on a table runner and I'm in mid row and I didn't even realize I was in mid row. Um, but this is the table runner or partial of the table runner. Let's see if I can get this kind of stretched out. Um, so this is part of the table runner. Um, this is going to be a written pattern because the middle section of this is a 28 row repeat um, and then the center or not the center but the siding of this is only a 12 row repeat and trying to um, do a tutorial on this would be like forever in a day pretty much so this will be a written pattern i don't know when this is coming out i still have a bit to go it's going to be a shorter table run a table runner it's not going to be a very long one um but do look forward to this i will update you guys when i have this completed and uh, more information when i do have more information for you guys for this but there is a part of the table runner so it's got some windmills um windmill pattern going on and then also kind of like a leafing that um if you look at the eyelids close enough they kind of look like wheats poke poking out um i've already got a name for this one this is going to be the farmhouse table runner um because of the windmills and then what to me is going to look like wheat shoots shooting out. Um, so there is that going on. And last but not least, what I can show you right now, I have started on a crochet wrap um, that I have been wanting to do since whenever I did my middle lace shawl, which was back in August, September of 2022. Um, I did start a little bit on the wrap itself. Um, I've already got a name picked out for this one. This is going to be called Pina Colada Wrap. Um, again, I want to get the table runner completed before I actually finish completing this one. Um, so I will have more information hopefully in my next updated video. But there is that one. And... <sighs> I have started on my um, yarn roulette project um, that I have for round number two. And um, let me grab the yarn real quick if you have not seen the video for the yarn reveal for that. This is the yarn that was revealed out of the second round for yarn roulette. I got this from Hobby Lobby several years ago when they were having their annual yarn clearance sale. I think I got like five skeins of this and um, this is the Soft Illusion. It does have a halo to it. It's very, very soft and squishy. I would much rather cuddle with it than really work with it. I tried to steer away from chunky yarns. I just not the biggest fan of chunky yarn. Um, but that's really all that I have for you guys today. Um, I do want to address the channel if you are new here. 
So Sunday, Mondays, and Tuesdays, I release tutorials, um, either my own pattern or stitch tutorials. And then Wednesdays is usually when my yarn roulette video comes out. Um, and then bi-weekly, um, every other Friday, I will have an updated video for you guys on just um, work in progresses, patterns that are coming out, things that are going on um, as far as my channel goes. And something new that I have brought to the channel for the month of March is kind of a daily vlog, just what I've been working on um, within the month of March, um, which is going to be in short videos um, if you haven't seen those already. But that's really all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys next time.